Hi, my name's Linda, and I'm going to show you how to access the eText for your computer classes. So I'm here in Blackboard in my computer class, and I'm going to scroll down to the student resources. This particular class is CED 115, but this will work for all of your computer classes that you take at WSU Tech. You just need to go to the student resources folder. So I'm going to click on student resources. And I'm going to, right here, it says Word Module 1, Creating. This is where you're going to access your eText. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click to launch. And I had that going up there, loading the content. And now it wants me to sign in. Um, if you've never had a Cengage account, then you need to create an account. If you have a Cengage account through another class, then you need to utilize that. So I'm going to create an account, and I'm a student. I'm going to put my email in here. Um, you might want to use a your school email account if you have one. I'm going to put in my information here, central time zone, and I agree to the terms in use. So just put your information in here. Again, it's important that you remember which email you use. Um, I'm an instructor at WSU Tech, so I don't have a student email, so I'm going to use this Gmail account that I check. And I'm going to say next. And now I need to check my email. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to go to my Gmail account. And here is my Welcome to Cengage. I need to activate my Cengage account. Now it's very important to remember that this link expires in one day. So you need to go in and um, I have not paused this video so you can see how quickly it came through for me at this point in time. It might take you a little longer to get it. So now I need to create a password and just create something that you can remember. And set your password. I'm not going to save it on this particular. Okay, so now it's going to redirect me back to my Cengage. Well, it's supposed to. Oh, if you're not automatically redirected, click here. So. so now I'm it's taking me back to Cengage. And I've already paid. You, If you get something that says something other than this paid, contact your instructor because you have already paid for this information. And I'm going to hit continue. The good news is, is you should only have to do this once. Once you have your eText activated, then, um, and here we go. Here's our Microsoft Office book. This is the text that we use for CED 115. And I'm going to skip this tour. Okay, so now what I want, what you want to do is we're going to close this tab here. We're going to close this tab. I'm going to come back to my Blackboard. Now when I click to launch for my eText, you can see up here in my tab, I have a new tab for my tab. So I'm going to select that and here is my module. So I can come in here, here's my eText, here's my information. And so next time when you get into the class and you start working on your assignments um, for your eText, you'll just be able to click right on them. So here in this particular class, we have some information in Module 1. Your class might not have anything until Module 2. So here, read Windows Module 1. I just need to click on that read and then click to launch here and it is loading my Cengage content. Now you have access to your eText. If you have issues, 
please contact your instructor. Also make sure you have your pop-up blockers turned off on your computer. That can cause a problem. There is um, um, an email or a video here in your student resources folder that goes over how to turn off your pop-up blockers. And now you've accessed the eText, you're ready to go with class. Good luck this semester and have fun and learn some new things about computers.